Hi, today I'm going to provide you with a sneak peek at our upcoming embedded Python feature. We have fused Python with ObjectScript in Iris. That is, both the Python virtual machine and the ObjectScript virtual machine are running side by side in the same Iris process. Let's see how an ObjectScript developer could take advantage of embedded Python. Let's say we had a Python library, like DateTime, and we wanted to load that into ObjectScript. Well, there you go. You have percent sys.python has a new import function called date, and you give it the name of a package to install, and it loads it up. Let's take a look at what that is. That is, it's an object of percent sys.python. In Python, everything is an object. In object script, you'll see that as percent sys.python. But then you can see inside of it of what it is. In this case, it's a module of date time. So let's call some methods on that, shall we? Here, we're calling the object script write method, and we're passing it the uh, Python date time library, and we're calling the date object in there, which has a static function called today, which returns a new date object representing, of course, today. And that has function on it called ISO format that returns a string. So that string from Python got returned to object script. Object script then printed it out. So what's great here is that you see data being passed back and forth between these two environments in a very natural way. It doesn't seem out of place at all. You know, one of the things that I love about uh, embedded Python is the easy access to its rich ecosystem of high quality libraries. For example, let's say I wanted to work with some financial data. In Python, I can easily import the Y Finance library that will pull data down from Yahoo Finance. In object script, there probably isn't a library already out there that does this. So you'd have to go to the Yahoo Finance web page, learn its API, write a client library in object script. Here, we just import it, and we're good to go. So let's download a little bit of uh, data, maybe some Apple stock tickers from, oh, I don't know, earlier this year. All right, and that is available in our local object called data. So let's pull out of that the uh, maybe the adjusted close price. So again, we're setting an, uh, uh, we're creating a variable called close, and we're setting it to the results of a function that is on your Python object. So let's take a closer look at that, shall we? Let's write close.size. So it's 167 rows that I pulled down. And let's call, let's take a look at it, shall we? And we can see that in January 2nd, Apple was trading at $74.57 a share. And at the end of August, it was $124.80. There's a lot more that you can do with embedded Python. I have two sessions coming up during, uh, during Virtual Summit. Please join us, learn more about it, and let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a good day.